and it's absolutely my pleasure to be here. I, I thought maybe I'd start with a couple confessions. Um, first of all, I am a recovering legislator. That, that's a problem. I was pretty happy four years ago when I thought I was laying down what I thought was uh, an obligation that I had served 14 years in the General Assembly and that it was time for someone else to have a chance. Uh, I supported a local mayor who ran a great race, Billy Roth, and unfortunately came up a little short in that election. And I settled into a little business I do. I, I consult with uh, organizations and help them understand the 50 states. But the man who replaced me in the Illinois General Assembly is the chief sponsor of the bill to raise Illinois' income tax 66% from 3% to 5%. State Senator Mike Nolan thinks you don't pay enough taxes. So confession number one, I, I'm not sure it's a good idea to, to, to use retread tires on your front wheels. Um, but in this case, I, I think it's time that someone tells Mike Madigan, that someone tells John Cullerton, and specifically someone tells Mike Nolan to get their hands out of our pockets until they're willing to work on cutting waste, fraud, and corruption out of Springfield. In the eight General Assemblies I served in, I cast probably around 15 or 16,000 final action roll call votes. And my second confession that I want to get off my chest is, if I could have that matricula vote back today, Knowing what I know now and knowing about the intentions, I wish I didn't vote for it. That doesn't, that doesn't change that I'm responsible for my votes, but it's a complex system down in Springfield, and I, I, my apologies to Roseanne and other people who feel real strongly about it. When we voted on it, a lot of us didn't understand what the implications would be. I believe we have the right to expect our federal government to enforce safe, secure borders. But my real expertise is, I'm not running for Congress, that's what I'm going to yell at Randy to work on. My expertise is the state budget, and I just want to share a few things with you and maybe give you kind of a little quiz. And I'll ask you something, and you tell me what state you think I'm talking about. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a state in the United States that over the last eight years has lost 750,000 people. Only one of three states in the United States to lose population. What state do you think that was? There's one state in the nation that has a lower bond rating than the country of Greece. Lower than California, lower than New Jersey. What state do you think that is? There's one state in the nation that in the last eight years has spent 30 billion more dollars than they took in in tax receipts. What state do you think that was? Illinois has a constitution that requires a balanced budget. It, it says clearly in the face of the, of the constitution that, that each year the legislature shall formulate a budget based on reasonable and certain estimates of what revenues will be. Since Rod Blagojevich and Mike Madigan, Emil Jones and John Cullerton got the keys to the Chevrolet, they've been out on a drinking binge for eight years borrowing and spending and borrowing and spending our kids' future. That's got to stop. I can't stop that all by myself, but what I do promise you is if I beat Mike Nolan, we're going to have another voice saying, we're not leaving Springfield until we balance our budget. We're not leaving Springfield until we tell people the truth about what's going on in Illinois. And we're not going to leave Springfield and cover up our problems by asking the families of the state of Illinois to take a 5% cut in their discretionary budget because we won't man up and work on and change waste, fraud, and corruption in Springfield. One of Rod Blagojevich's first programs was his program to take the, the, the children of working Illinoisans and put them into Medicaid. It was called his All Kids Program. It was a, a step up above what the federal government did in their kids care program. And Rob Blagojevich was proud to say that Illinois families earning up to $75,000 a year could enroll their kids in the one health insurance program no one in Illinois would voluntarily join, the Medicaid program. The Auditor General of the State of Illinois, a bipartisan auditor, constitutional officer, just completed an audit of that program. That program that was cited in the impeachment of Rod Blagojevich, 
but has never been defunded or repealed by Mike Madigan or John Cullerton. It's never been repudiated by Pat Quinn. The Auditor General of the State of, State of Illinois found that 74% of the enrollees were ineligible to be in the program. I can find you billions of dollars of waste, fraud, and corruption in Springfield. People that say that you can't balance the budget without raising taxes are wrong. If the first act we take is to take those teenagers who've been out on a binge with the Chevrolet and a 12-pack of beer, and our first action is to give them a case so they can go back out, we're making a big mistake. Raising taxes in a recession when 12%, almost one in eight Illinoisans is looking for work is the wrong choice. I'll stand against that. I promise to work hard, and this time I'm not going to stay long. God bless you all, and thank you for being here.